Do you often feel lonely, detached, or even misunderstood? Would those closest to you, maybe someone you're married to or in a relationship with or your family, or even worse, when you're by yourself? Well, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to heal a lack from a lack of attachment. Now, as I just pointed out, this lack of attachment can show up with those closest to us, and but the really the worst one is within ourselves. And many people are just unaware of how de detached we all are in a moment by moment basis and, and how this lack of attachment is affecting us all. And it all starts in childhood, simple little things. Like divorce, were you aware that when there's a divorce in the family, it creates actual brain damage? That all of a sudden a child who's raised by two parents, one is gone. Now this parent isn't trying to abandon their child, but that's, that's a natural byproduct of a divorce, is abandonment. Boom, attachment is severed. Now what about the child that grows up in the single parent household? Well, right out of the gate, there's a lack of attachment. Adoption. You can, studies show you can take a child directly from the womb and place it in the adoptive mother's arms and that child instantly, their DNA and everything shifts and changes. They instantly feel a horrific detachment, abandonment from the loss of connection to their mother. All right? So all of us suffer horrific Detachment in childhood. I mean, take my situation. You know, there, we had four kids in our family. I was the third. Well, less than a year later, my younger brother was born. So, you know, usually when you're the infant, you get most of the attention, right? Well, boom, one day, just like that, it had to switch. My younger brother's more vulnerable. He just came into the world, needs my mother and father's attention. Right there, I lost out of nowhere. I, now, do I have any memory of that? No. But as my sister and I talked about, it became her job to raise me. Well, I've always had a, attachment issues throughout my life. There's one reason why. Is that less than a year old, I lost my mother. Now, then you add in, when I got a little bit older, she was an alcoholic and she'd be sober four to six weeks and then in a walking coma for seven to ten days. Boom. That's abandonment. It's a loss of attachment. That creates a severe fear in a child. So while I know the common belief is our childhoods were perfect, think about it. Did you get yelled at? Did you ask to play with mom or dad and they said no? We all have those moments where we made a request for attachment and our parents were just exhausted They'd worked all day, they just couldn't attach. But there are also more egregious times where they may have been rougher about it. The point is this, all of us have suffered from a lack of attachment to parents who adored the hell out of us, but because they're human and they're perfectly imperfect, they couldn't be there for us all the time. And it left wounds in us. And that's why, whether we're with a partner or we're with friends, or we're with coworkers, or even worse, when we're alone, we will feel sad, lonely, empty, detached, and misunderstood, even from ourselves. That's a devastating experience. So today I wanna to give you five basic tips to get started to heal that attachment and start attaching back to yourself and to those you care about, so you can be in a position to heal that wound that's been left in all of us, all right? So step number one is hire a professional. Now, of course, that sounds incredibly self-serving, because what do I do, right? But think about it. I mean, well, first of all, it is self-serving. I love doing what I do. Of course, I'd want you to hire me, but you don't have to hire me. Hire any professional that's gifted in these dynamics. And here's why. How do we conquer anything? How do we get good at anything? We learn from a professional. How do you become a great chef, a great musician, a great painter? How do you play sports? You have coaches. You have teachers. Well, if you're going to navigate this, 
How the hell are you going to do it without an expert teaching you and coaching you? It's just not possible. And I find it fascinating. In every area of life, we are, we don't hesitate to hire a lawyer, a doctor, a professional for anything. But when it comes to our emotional well-being and our childhood and all this stuff, people are just like, oh, I can't afford it. It's too expensive. I don't need it. I'll just read a book. It's just fascinating to me how, and, and do you see what that means? Do you see why, ultimately why we do that? Because the attachment wound is so severe, we don't think we're worth it. We'll spend money on everything but attaching to ourselves. That's how severe the wound is inside of us. We see that as an expense, not as an investment. That's heartbreaking. So if you think you, your childhood didn't leave you an attachment wound, and you're, but right there, if you're not willing to hire a professional to help you navigate this, that shows you how severe the attachment wound. That's one of the main indicators that there's a severe attachment wound left in you. So you don't have to hire me, but find a professional that's an expert in these dynamics and begin working with one. Get the guidance, connection, and attachment. See, that's the biggest role that we play. Our job ultimately is to be the safety that you never got. Our role as a professional in this profession, as I will, when it's appropriate, say to my clients, my job is to always advocate for the child inside of you that didn't get supported. Anything that comes out of my mouth, any suggestion or any action I ever take, I am always on that child's side. That's my job. Because ultimately, whatever's going on in your life, whatever reason you come to me, career, anything, it's that child who's not feeling loved and supported. And that's my job, is to heal that wound. And when that's healed, you flourish. That's our job. And then to teach you how to do it for yourself. That's why you hire a professional. Okay? Number two is learn to tell your story. What I mean by that is start journaling all the moments there was an attachment when you were growing up. And remember, I just brought up simple little things. Did you ask mom or dad to play with you and they rebuffed you? Boom, there's a severing of attachment. Did, can you feel that? Do you have that memory? Wanting to throw the ball or wanting you know, to hang out, play dolls, whatever it was, and mom and dad, oh, I'm too busy. Boom, can you still remember how that felt Rejecting, how that created that, oh, nobody understands me. I don't matter. Start journaling. Start pulling up and making a record of all the ways, all the times, all the moments your parents were perfectly imperfect and couldn't attach to you. That's where all of this comes from. All right? <clears throat> Step number three is to learn how you were repeating this same pain as an adult. It's something I call the worst day cycle. It's what I wrote about in my book, Your Journey to Success. Every single one of us, doesn't matter what we do in life, every choice we ever make in life, as I show scientifically, not just by opinion, but I show how the brain and body works, how trauma works, all we ever do in life, our whole life, is replay the trauma from our childhood. That's it. Whether our life is going good or poorly, it's all based on our childhood experiences. And so, if you're struggling as an adult, all you're doing is reliving that worst day cycle over and over and over. That's why you have this step number two, is to write about it. You have to discover, oh my God, all these pain points, all these moments, and then learn about the worst day cycle. Now. Again, that sounds self-serving, like a pitch to buy my book. You don't have to buy it. Go to my website, w, my online magazine site, www.thegreatnessuniversity.com and go under the free content. You know, scroll to that and down at the very bottom, there's a free chapter to, uh, you can either listen to it or read it, whichever one you want, but listen to it and, or read it and decide from that, wait a minute, this might be going somewhere that could help me. If you think so, then buy it. You don't have to. There are a ton of free exercises right there too that'll help you 
start discovering the worst day cycle and working through it. So you don't have to buy it. You can also go to my YouTube channel. Throughout my videos, I'm always talking about the worst day cycle and how it shows up in your life and how to recover from it. So you don't have to spend money if you don't want to. But until you become an expert in the worst day cycle, you will not be able to attach to yourself or attach to others. It is not humanly possible. Okay? Step number four is learn about the four different attachment styles. Okay? All of us have developed maladaptive attachment styles. And, and there are three of them are maladaptive, anxious, avoidant, disorganized. The fourth is secure. Very few of us <laughs> securely attached to anyone because very few of us had a secure attachment in childhood. We have moments, but look, even the best parents. Let me ask you this. Did you feel stressed at all today? As, uh, you know, just going through your daily life, was there someone who cut you off in traffic? Um, did you not, did your boss need something done and you were afraid you weren't gonna get it done? Did, you know, your kids need picking up? Did they forget a homework assignment? Did you have to cook dinner? Like, listen to, oh my God, and then how many times did your phone go off with emails to return and text messages to return and, oh my God, I gotta check on Facebook and why'd they post that? And now the government's saying this, that's stress. That's a whole lot of fear. And you think that you were able to navigate that and your parents were able to navigate that without saying, get away from me, kids. Leave me alone. I got too much going on. Every parent gets overwhelmed by life. And most of life is spent in that place because we don't teach emotional mastery. That's why we spend most of our lives in the three maladaptive attachment styles, anxious, avoidant, and disorganized. Very rarely is it secure because very rarely were our parents secure because they had to navigate all that stuff too. So we have to learn about that and start recognizing, oh my God, he's right. We live most of our lives in this maladaptive dysfunction, not because we're bad people, but because we don't teach this stuff and everyone's doing the best they can and that's what it creates, okay? So it's about getting into reality and that's attachment. When I'm in reality of, of how out of touch I am, I can get in touch. That's what all of these skills and tools that I'm suggesting, these tips, they bring us into reality. Well, that creates an attachment with myself. I see, wow, yeah, there was a lot that went on that I've never been willing to admit, not because I'm bad, but because no one taught me. So that's why I'm suggesting all of these things. And step number five is begin asking um, for and begin meeting your own needs and wants. This is critical because our parents had all of those crazy things going on in their life. They inadvertently asked us to meet their needs and wants. Now the proof of that is, can you sit down right now and write out your morals and values, needs and wants, negotiables and non-negotiables? My guess is like 99% of the people that I talk to, they're blank. They have no idea what their morals and values are, no idea what their needs and wants are. Do you know why? Because your childhood, your childhood, you were raised to meet your parents' morals and values, needs and wants, negotiables and non-negotiables. You were never given permission. That's part of the attachment disconnect with yourself and others. The proof that you're not attached to yourself is you can't list those out like that. Again, it's not to blame parents, but it's to show the impact of not teaching these things, how they play out the rest of our lives and they cause us to go through divorce and have chaotic relationships with ourselves and others, all right? So there are your five quick tips. Um, please don't get overwhelmed by it. Again, this is, we're just starting to really promote pursuing psychology and personal development in the last 50 years as a species after millions of years we're 50 years into it. So cut yourself and your parents and everyone else a little bit, a little bit of grace. It's gonna take us a while to learn this and do things a little bit differently. So be kind to yourself as you're progressing down this journey. So if you think this will help somebody, please share it. If you think it'll help you, like it. Remember, go to my website, www.thegreatnessuniversity.com to download the free exercises and get a free chapter of my book so you can start learning about the worst day cycle and seeing how it's creating the attachment problems in your life. And as always, just enjoy the journey.